this is baby Jesus and for baby Jesus we have the crib which we'll be using the same method as we did the base for Mary we have just a granny square blanket which we will then sew just to secure it here and this is baby Jesus which is basically just the head and two arms and his cocoon body so I'm going to start off with head and then move on to the body and then crochet two arms and join it all together so to start with the head I will start off with a magic ring I will crochet six single crochets into the magic ring pull the ring close and for the first round we have an increase into each stitch Next I will single crochet into the first stitch and then work an increase and repeat that. Next I will single crochet into each stitch for three rounds in total. Like this, we will create the tiny head for baby Jesus. Next, I will single crochet into the first stitch and then work a decrease. eventually start stuffing also the head but first I'm going to single crochet into each one let's get some stuffing first Now I will decrease all around. is complete and now we will introduce the white now I will increase into each stitch so I will work two stitches into each one let me just chop off the pink yarn i will tie a knot and stuff it inside and now i will 
will continue working two single crochets into each stitch for the next round i will single crochet into the first and increase into the next it's looking like a pacifier so I will single crochet into the first two and then work an increase For the next three rounds, I will simply single crochet into each stitch for three rounds in total. Once your three rows of single crochet are complete, we will start decreasing. I will work a single crochet into the first two stitches and then work a decrease. Next, I will work two rounds of single crochet. Now, work one single crochet and then another decrease. For the next two rounds, I will single crochet into each one. Now, before I work my decreasing round, I will stuff it in. When you have it nice and snug, work a round of decreases. Next I have another round of single crochets and then we will fasten off. Leave a tail to sew it close. Grab your your needle and pass your needle through the front loops. And pull. 
And like that, we have our tiny baby all swaddled and cozy. Next, you can either leave the head as it is, but if you'd like, you can sew on some eyes, sleepy eyes for baby Jesus. And now we will move on to the arms. Arms, I will start off with a magic ring once again and single crochet six. In this case I won't be increasing because the arms are very very tiny but I will start off by single crocheting into each stitch for five rounds Once the five rounds of single crochet are complete, we will simply single crochet both sides together to close it. And that is basically it for the arms. And don't forget to create two. So repeat this one more time and leave the tail to sew on the arm. So repeat this once again to create another arm. Next I'm going to sew on the arms and the arms will be sewn at the side like this, sort of going up to his face. For the blanket, this is basically just one granny square and I will show you how to do that. I have tried different variations for a blanket, but I found this is what suits my liking the most. So I will start off with a magic ring. And first off, I will chain two and then I will work two double crochets. Now I will chain three and work three double crochets. chain three again and I will repeat the three double crochets twice more slip stitch into the second chain that we started off with. Now if it's easier for you, you can turn your work, slip stitch into the first corner and start from there or what I prefer personally is to slip stitch until I reach my next corner and this way I will be working just on one side and not on both sides and this way I can hide any yarn 
or any funny business going on at the back. So for the corners, I will start off with chain two, work two double crochets, chain three, and work another three double crochets. At this point I will pass my hook through the next corner and work three double crochets chain three and work another three double crochets and repeat this into each corner Now that you're here, just slip stitch into that chain 2 and once again slip stitch your way up to the next corner. Now basically the pattern repeats itself. In each corner you will work 3 double crochets, 3 chains and 3 double crochets and in between in these spaces you will work three double crochets these chains that we start off can be counted as a double crochet that is why we don't want to do three double crochets after chaining these because this will count as one double crochet now in the chain space here i will work three double crochets and in the corner i will repeat this here this pattern will be repeated all around and keep adding up the round until baby Jesus fits perfectly in your blanket. For this blanket I have one, two, three, four, five, six rounds before I fastened off. I will continue growing my granny square and then I will meet you back once the granny square is done. So that's the square is done. I'm leaving this tail in order to sew the corners together when I put in baby Jesus in the blanket, like so. I will start off by chaining 17. I will single crochet into the second chain from the hook, single crochet into the next 14 chains, single crochet three times into the last remaining chain then single crochet back 14 on the other side
single crochet two into the last remaining stitch now for the next round I will start off with an increase I will mark the beginning of my round Next single crochet 14 Next work and increase into the next three stitches single crochet back into the next 14 stitches work and increase into the next two stitches The next round I will start off with one single crochet and then work and increase then I will single crochet into the next 15 next I will work and increase then one single crochet into the next and I will repeat this twice more one increase one single crochet one increase and one single crochet single crochet into the next 14 stitches To the last three stitches I will work one increase one single crochet and an increase in the last stitch next I will start off with two single crochets Next, I will single crochet sixteen, now I will break an increase. single crochet into the next two and repeat this twice more single crochet into the next 14 stitches we will finish off by working an increase into the next stitch two single crochets and lastly an increase the base of the crepe is complete so now we will start growing 
upwards and we start off by single crocheting into each stitch but into the back loop only. Once you have single crochet into each back loop, we will just single crochet into each stitch for four rounds. Once you have single crocheted for four rounds, we will work a decreasing round where I will single crochet once into the first two stitches. Work a decrease. Now I will single crochet into the next 16. Next, I will work a decrease and then a single crochet into the next two and I will repeat this twice more. single crochet into the next 14 now work a decrease crochet into the next two and work another decrease. For the next round I will simply single crochet all around. For the last round, I will be creating a frill all around, as you can see over here. And these are just chain trees and slip stitches. So now I will simply slip stitch to close that round. Chain three. And slip stitch into the same space. Slip stitch into the next stitch. And chain three. Slip stitch back into the same space and slip stitch into the next and keep repeating this all around.
that's baby Jesus in the crib just complete.